Good day, everybody. Norm Johnson here with Enchanted Fibers, where our mission is to bring life to luxury fibers. In today's video, we're going to show you how we went through and made this French scarf. Please press the like button below and help us be aware that uh, you appreciated what we had to offer. Please subscribe to our channel and get the notifications that uh, we've submitted a new video for you to enjoy. Thank you very much for your valuable time and have a great day. Enjoy our process. I'm working on going to work on another French scarf. The first one was not as successful as I wanted to, so but uh, kind of going back to the basics that uh, I felt with, I guess. So we're going to I put down a little bit of silk to uh, you know onto the uh, pattern to start with. So had some dyed silk here. So we'll use I use some of that <clears throat> as the base. And then I added a little bit of yarn to give it some structure. Added some mohair in here to give it a little bit of structure as well. The uh, viscose, you know, I just threw that in there. I don't think that's going to come through, but uh, one never knows. It uh, may come through on some of the lighter. But, um, but now I'm getting ready to add the alpaca fiber. So I've pulled off a segment of, of batting there, and we'll put that on. I don't know if I'll use the whole thing. I think there's 0 0.8 ounces uh, there. Um, so 22, 22 grams, about 20 grams, um, and then I'll put some more mohair in here, add a little bit more yarn. I don't know if I'll use that specific yarn, but uh, possibly. And then, you know, add some viscose to the mix. I don't know if I'll finish the other, that side with uh, silk. I may put a piece or two in there, maybe a piece of marginal silk or something that I have. But um, so anyway, just gonna create this French style scarf. I'll pack it in the middle, sandwiched in between a variety of items. And uh, we'll see how our colors come out, how everything felts together. Hopefully it won't fall apart like the other one but uh, one never knows when we're felting fiber has a tendency to do what it wants to do not exactly what we want to, to do we'll go forward that's our project that's underway looking forward to the finished results and seeing how it comes together just uh, starting to roll our uh, item here so um, it's coming together I'll turn it over I don't know what to do with the phone but um, for now I guess I'll just set it up against that bottle So this is our silk side that uh, we have some kind of, you can see some of the yarn coming through for a little bit of texture and things. So, you know, we're, we're making progress. I'm going to roll a little bit more just as a way of uh, procrastination so I don't have to go out into the snow at the present time. but. Uh, it's snowing and getting coming down a little bit more, so need to uh, 
quit procrastinating, get out and uh, get all the chores done and make sure everybody's doing well. So, but, uh, yep, there's our uh, dye pots or crock pots for our dyeing, our scale for weighing out dryer balls, have a carter. I don't really, I guess I use that more for the outside of my dryer balls creating a, a layer some layers there for that you know, my turkey cooker for steaming yarn cooking yarn microwave my keurig to keep the go juice going but anyway i'll roll this a few more times and uh we'll get to a point maybe where it'll i'll start shrinking it and we'll get it back to finish and we'll see what tomorrow brings. So here's my French scarf. It's uh, been rolled, been felted. I've rinsed it. I'm going to rinse the rest of the soap out of it. But um, you can see, hopefully, see some of the yarns coming through. And this was the, uh, the dyed silk that I took pieces of and, and laid in there. And then this side, the viscose, there's some yarns, there's some mohairs inside as well. So, but um, we're going to finish rinsing it and we'll uh, iron it. And set it up to dry. Well, our scarf is finished. And we'll, uh, it's on this, on the mount here, or on the form. So I'll uh, get in front and see what's up. So, but um, there's different ways to wear this. This one is just more through that. We could actually, you know, run it the other way. We can reverse it. There's just a multitude of ways to wear it. You can bring this shorter side in front. And you get the contrasting colors. Very fun to make. White on one side with viscose, some marginalon silk, other side with some dyed silk gauze. Thank you for joining us today. Please press the like button below. Please subscribe to our channel. If you have any comments please, uh, or questions, please uh, put them in the comments below. If there's things you'd like to see us expand more information on, please put it in the comments as well. Thank you for your valuable time and have a great day.